There's many films about uh, current contemporary events, so the, the fight and resisting, uh, resistance against ISIS um, in uh, Rojava in Syria. Um, there's uh, films from North Kurdistan, Turkey, um, which are about uh, Kurdish language um, and the Kurdish resistance against the uh, Turkish state. Um, so it's, uh, I've described it as a, as a festival of resistance, really, um, and most Kurdish films are about resisting um, one form of uh, oppression or another, and about keeping alive Kurdish culture, Kurdish language, Kurdish history. Um, so uh, there are films, there are also other films about um, uh, Kurdish music, for example. There are two documentaries, Dengbej and uh, My Country Kurdistan, uh, which are about Kurdish uh, folklore and Kurdish um, uh, troubadours and, and um, um, how can I say it, uh, tradition in terms of, uh, because Kurdish was banned and it couldn't be written, uh, a lot of the stories and a lot of the culture was uh, transported from one generation to another through, uh, through songs. So it's about uh, the, the um, audio culture of the, uh, of the uh, people. Mm. You mentioned conflict. How much do the sorts of news stories that we hear about Kurdish communities living around the world, how much are they reflected in the films that are shown as part of this festival? Uh, very much so. I mean, we tried to uh, achieve that, really, with, with the selection of films that we chose. Um, and uh, I think uh, with what's going on in the Middle East at the moment, the general upheaval, um, uh, the Kurdish films that are at the Ninth London Kurdish Film Festival uh, show uh, stories of uh, uh, Kurdish um, culture uh, in general in terms of normal life, everyday life, but also uh, extraordinary stories of uh, bravery, of uh, heroism, of uh, uh, war, resistance, and, and just uh, trying to keep alive uh, the Kurdish struggle for recognition around the world because that's what the Kurds want. And this festival is an extension of that, if you will, um, to uh, get Kurdish culture recognized um, and, and get uh, people to really understand and know who the Kurds are. Mm. This event started 15 years ago. How have you seen it develop in that time? I mean, it's been extraordinary, really. Um, in the first festival, uh, we only received a handful of uh, films uh, just for uh, submission. Um, and we had to choose almost all of them. Uh, because we, had, we didn't have enough. Um, but this year and uh, two years ago, we had over 300 submissions from all over the Kurdish region and from the diaspora. Um, and it just shows to, uh, goes to show how much technology has helped uh, the Kurds in producing films, uh, cheaper technology, um, but also how Kurdish uh, unity and Kurdish, uh, uh, the Kurdish struggle has brought the Kurds uh, to a point where they can maybe produce more films than a lot of established states um, uh, around the world. Uh, and it, it goes to show uh, that the Kurdish cinema is intertwined also with the Kurdish struggle for recognition. Talking of Kurdish cinema, let's take another look at another of the, uh, a short clip rather, of another of the films involved in the festival. This is uh, Song of My Mother. <laughs> How much do the films that are made by Kurds based here in the capital differ to the ones that are made across the wider world and that you're seeing coming into this festival? Uh, this is a very important question. Uh, what is Kurdish national cinema? Um, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege for Kurds in some ways and maybe a positive uh, within a negative that Kurds are based uh, around the world and, and in four different states in the Middle East um, in that they don't have a, uh, just a, a, a monolithic uh, cultural uh, product really. Um, and the ones in Europe differ maybe because there's more funding and, and more opportunity in Europe but also uh, they differ because they're set in, uh, in, in cities. Um, and a lot of more authentic Kurdish films or culture is set in Kurdistan uh, or in the rural areas, which is more uh, related to uh, what we would uh, historically define as being Kurdish. Um, but, uh, but it's great to say that you, know, you can make a Kurdish film anywhere, um, even sometimes if the, if the language isn't Kurdish. Um, if the issues are Kurdish and, and about the Kurdish people and there are, the main characters are Kurdish, we can say it's a Kurdish film. Um, Mehmet, just briefly, for people that would like to come along and, and see some of the films involved, how can they and where can they? Uh, it's at the Hackney Picture House. Uh, uh, screenings for the public start on Saturday uh, from the afternoon. Um, people can follow us uh, on Facebook, London Kurdish Film Festival, on Twitter at uh, LKFF, and our hashtag is hashtag uh, LKFF2015.